Need to listen to the sound of nature. Oh shit, we might need that bug spray. If I need that the most. Alrighty, man. So I asked my son how long till I catch my first fish. He said 30 minutes. I bet him one minute and it took about 30 seconds. <laughs> Look at that beautiful little brown already. <laughs> How's that for spick and quick, man? Hey, I was gonna say spiffy. Stuff, He's not even done putting his worm on. And we already got a nice brown. Beautiful little native trout. <laughs> That's funny. Tell me I don't know my river, huh? Uh, he's trying to flop away from me. Is your bait still? I guess you might have... See ya, dude. Oh, your bait still on there? Yeah. Uh-oh. Oh, oh, no, he's good. There he goes. Sweet. First fish down. Skunk off. Took all of 10 high. seconds. Oh, he went up in there. Uh... Alright, guys. So, fish number two. It's a chub. They're like basically like baby suckers. As you can see, it's got a little tiny sucker mouth. But that one took all of another 10 seconds to catch. I think it's going to be a good day. Fishing ain't easy. Well, that sketchy little log chance was worth it. Got this guy, but I don't know, he swallowed it. So let's see if we can get him back in. Has some blood. Ah, uh, this is alright, maybe. Come on, dude, little dude. Beautiful colors. Hopefully, it lives. It's the only bad part about free floating bait is they swallow it a lot. But I really don't lose a whole lot of fish, so. Oh, 
Uh, he wants to. Come on, dude. Come on, little buddy. I think he's been caught before. He's got a big old... Oh, oh. Oh, well, I think there he goes. I don't see him coming back up, so... Peace out, little buddy. It's gonna be too hard. Whoa, that's a good one. Oh, daddy. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about, Johnny boy. See, they're in the most random spots, don't you think? That's a stalker, but he's good. Yeah, I got pliers. Get a hold of him. Oh, he's barely hooked anyways. Right in the tip. Nice, that's a nice one, man. He's been holding out on me. <laughs> I've been catching them all day and then he oh, catches the big ones. <laughs> you gonna make it? <laughs> Good recovery. This area is rough. Well, call us diehards, call us stupid, but it is pouring out here. I was already wet from falling in the stream, so once you're wet, I guess it really don't matter anymore. But yeah, I think we're gonna have to call it quits. I think we're gonna have to call it, Johnny boy. <laughs> it is coming down, man. Alright. Shit, man. I think we had a long walk back, too. Alright, I'm gonna hit this spot and then we're gonna call it a day or a minute at least. Let this rain stop. Oh my god, it is pouring. <laughs> <laughs> you can't even see the sky anymore. Dip in here, right here. It's dry right here underneath this tree. There you go. Holy smokes, man. I fucking love this shit, though. I love rain, too, but damn. <laughs> For once, I don't have to worry about fucking finishing my job. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least it's already five. That means my guys are done, too. Uh, While the road's up there where that flat spot is, so we're gonna try to make it up there and I don't know. Now we might try to wait this out. Damn. Man, it is pouring. Like, pouring, pouring. Like, this ain't, <laughs> this ain't even rain, dude. It's like, it's like a waterfall. <laughs> Holy smokes. It is coming down, man. Yeah. Hell yeah. Fuck it is. Welcome to summertime in the Hamas. Well, wet. Very wet. You wanna wear like... Take this out. Put on a different shirt. Look at the clouds back there. Like sick. Close your eyes if you don't like a fat man. <laughs> uh, uh, holy smokes. 
I am drenched. Dude, look at those clouds. Look, they're just oh, like shit. That's sick as fuck. They're moving up the hill they so just came crazy. Out of <laughs> it rains almost every day up here in the Hamas in the summertime. At least when we're not in a crazy drought, so should be expected. But uh caught us off guard a little bit. I think my underwear is nope. <laughs> underwear aren't dry. Uh, well, I don't want to subject you guys to some nastiness, so I'll turn <laughs> off the video. <laughs> My shins are beat down. I don't know if you guys can see them, but they are tore up from the floor up. From that little, little spot. We actually got to the parking area where the hot springs are supposedly at, so I guess we'll see where they're at. Look at that beautifulness. We probably haven't got like an hour over there, huh? I mean, we could stay as late as needed, but you know, just don't be a boat. Mmm, look at all this mint. You smell it? You smell it just walking through here. I don't, actually. Huh? Oh, they're out there. Should we go there? There might be a pool right there. Right in front of you. Like six inches deep, but oh damn, that water is warm, dude. So we this one or... Yeah, I don't, I don't think it's much better than this. Really? Yeah. Uh. Oh, dude, it's like warm, warm, like hot, I warm. Just my shoes? Yeah. Well, your shoes are already wet. Oh my god, it's like so warm. You kind of have to build it up equally all the way around. Okay. Otherwise, it's just going to go out one way or the other. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, I think the bear's going to have a lot to do with it, uh, because if we just stack fucking rocks, it's just gonna keep going through, you know? Like, we kinda need to, like, fill the cracks with dirt and shit. This place is pretty good, though. This is nice. It's like the, the right really temperature. Nice. It's not, like, too hot or too cold, you know what I mean? It's just you comfortable. You got good footage of this spot, too. Oh. I just feel like, to be honest, if we were to build it up, the only way to build it up is from the outside in. Because if we built it up from the inside out, it's just gonna keep making this shit smaller and smaller. Well, yeah, you definitely need to like kind of work your way outwards. Like really, if it were to form man-made, we would have had to fucking shape the inside first and then go out. I don't know, maybe not. What do you think? Well, it depends on what the goal is. At least making it like... Depth or, or larger, you know what I mean? Uh, like both, you feel? 50-50? I feel like we could dig it out pretty good in a fucking in a day. What about erosion, though? I don't think there's much shit like washing down here. No. Uh, so Those pretty fucking rock solid under right now. Well, as you guys can see, we found this, the hot springs. Uh, we probably drove like 30 minutes on this road, which 
God, I feel like a dumbass because when the kids were younger, like, I don't know, five years ago, ten years ago, we were trying to walk up this road. We'd have been walking for like, God, three or four hours probably to make it up this road. But anyways, you travel up this road and um, comes to a gate and then you just kind of follow the road and uh, follow a pathway and uh, leads to the hot springs. So there's actually three sets of hot springs up here in the Hamas Mountains, if you don't know about it. Um, there's the actual, what people call the hot springs, which are um, located right off the road and you can actually see them from the road. Um, there's the warm springs, which you can hike to from either Battleship Road, or I mean Battleship Rock, or you can drive around the backside and hike downhill from um, Hamas Falls and then walk uphill back out. But um, Battleship's uphill to the springs, downhill out, and the uh, hot springs, I'm sorry, the, God, the waterfalls, the Hamas, Hamas uh, waterfalls, I can't think of the name of them. Um, are downhill to the to the warmer springs and then uphill out these ones I don't know we probably walked 15 20 minutes so um, probably similar to the hot springs but um, this is a nice little spot there's only a few people up here and uh, I think because you have to kind of drive 30 minutes up a dirt road it's a little more um, vacant or a little less people but anyhow, um, after 40 years, I found a new spot in the Amos Mountains that I didn't know about. So, uh, kind of excited. I mean, it was, it was nice, man. It was really nice. The water was warm. It was like perfect. It wasn't too hot, too cold. Just kind of sit there and chill and enjoy the water. So, um, if you're ever up in the Amos Mountains, right when you get to road 376, which is... Like you're going up to um, Fenton Lake, 376 is to the left, and there's a parking area to the right. That's where you park, and that's where you walk. Um, I kind of feel like we're lost for a minute, but I do remember uh, looking down this valley and seeing the river, so I know I'm not lost. And there's a gate I see up ahead of me. So anyhow, um, I appreciate you guys watching to the end. Again, please, 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 please subscribe to my channel. Um, it does me a lot of good to have lots of subscribers and hopefully bring you more content like this. Um, I like to explore, like to uh, enjoy life like most people do. And of course, the more subscribers, more views that I have, that uh, allows me to do so. So anyhow, we'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching. You guys have a good night. Thank mm -hmm. you.